This is the Washer Heat Flow Lab, where the objective is to see how mass affects heat flow. We're gonna set up two different experiments. The first one uses two and six washers, and the second one uses four washers for both systems. And even though I'm using this kind of shiny pink string for the video, I wouldn't recommend using it because I found out that it unties very easily. So if you use a different type of string that's a little more rough, uh, the knots actually stay in it easier. So it's pretty easy to set up. You just tie each group of washers to the pencil with a little bit of space in between them, as you'll see here in the video. And then just repeat that for the two sets of four washers each. So now we need to heat up the washers. You just put a beaker on a hot plate. I set it at 250 here and label it as two washers and six and the other one as four and four washers. And I like to tie the strings so that the washers aren't touching the bottom. That way if I have a lot of groups that I want to do at once, I can put them all in a row and they don't get tangled as easily. For the first experiment, we're gonna use the same amount of water in each of the two systems. So system one and system two have 100 milliliters of water, take the initial temperature, and then place two washers in one system and six in the other and see how that affects the final temperature. For the second experiment, we're gonna use different amounts of water but the same number of washers to see how the temperature changes. We'll fill system one with 50 milliliters of water and system two with 200 milliliters of water. Just like before, record the initial temperature of the water, then take the set of four washers and place them each in the two different systems. After a couple minutes, record the final temperature and then compare the results. This is a very easy lab to set up and pretty easy for students to do and a great way to discuss how mass affects heat flow in different systems.